So over the past couple of years, I've had the opportunity to review a lot of different types of tech. If you have been a long time subscriber, we went from streaming devices, streaming boxes. We also did a lot of projectors, mini PCs, but sometimes you'll get that piece of tech that really excites you. And we're taking a look at one of them today. So today we're taking a look at a projector screen and this is from Vivid Storm. And this is a hundred inch portable folding screen and this has a built-in tensioner and what caught my eye guys is just how portable this unit is how it works and how easy it is to move it from room to room so for this product i am going to break it up in two separate videos first one we're going to go over the mechanics the screen itself and the second one we're going to introduce a projector and kind of see how everything works together let's go ahead and jump into it Now, big shout out to Vivid Storm for sponsoring this video. I will be leaving a link to this screen in the description, along with some of their other products that you might be interested in. So let's quickly go over some of the specifications and features. The color on this is gonna be HD white. It is compatible with basically any projector that can project up to 100 inches. This screen also comes in different sizes. So the one we're looking at today is the 100 inch, but it also comes in 84, 150, 125, 135, even a 72 inch. The aspect ratio is gonna be 69. Viewing area is gonna be standard, so you're gonna have a 87.17 wide, 49.2 high, and this has to have a silent stumbler motor. And we'll see once we power it up, that is pretty easy going. Convenient to carry, I was able to pick it up myself, move it from room to room. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed. So the cool thing about the screen is that it is portable so you can pick it up by yourself, move it around by yourself. And I was able to do that, move it upstairs, downstairs. So whatever room I needed, I was able to, to basically put it in there by myself. But as far as the unboxing experience, they did a really good job just making sure everything's protected. They did have an outer layer of cardboard and when you go inside, it was styrofoam, it was padding, everything was nice and tucked in. That way it wouldn't get damaged within shipping. So unboxing and setup took about five minutes. Now the package did also come with some cool accessories for this projector screen. First thing is a nicely uh, decorated envelope. I like stuff like that, but inside you had a couple booklets that really need to go over just to make sure you're not doing anything that will damage the product. So you did come with some warranty information, uh, feedback. So if you guys wanna get in contact, you can go ahead and do so. Also has all the instructions for the screen. Very important, it's gonna show you how to fully operate and what's in the package, as well as how to use all the equipment. Now next we have two remote controls. And these remotes are pretty simple, but yet elegant. So peeling the, the protective plastic off, you can see how good this looks. And it didn't take long for it to start picking up fingerprints. So as far as the, the remote itself, they are rechargeable, so they do have a micro USB port on the side. Also had a holder where you can drill it to the wall, that way you can have easy access to it. As far as the buttons, all you had was an up, a stop, and a down button. And like I said, they did provide two of these remotes. Next is a USB adapter for your projector. So how this works, guys, is all the USB adapter needs is power and it will power the screen up or down. So plug into a USB port in your projector and it will take care of it for you. So this is where you'll adjust the screen height, guys. So use that first plug and then you can use one of these tools to either adjust it higher or lower, just depending if the screen is a little bit high. So in the book, it did tell us that the screen are set to the maximum height of shipment. So you shouldn't have to adjust it, but just in case something gets out of whack, this is where you adjust it. Now the instructions do tell you which direction to rotate. So keep mind of that if you need to adjust it. But I found that the adjustment was just right as shipment. And like I said, there is a warning saying that this was shipped at its maximum height. One of those things you don't want to adjust too high, you could damage the screen or you could cause it to tip over. And you also have some mounting hardware for the remote and the accessories. So for this screen, of course, you can sit it on the floor like I'm using it now where you can move it from room to room. It also has folding legs where you can fold it out and bolt it to the floor. Another addition, if you wanted to mount this to a wall, Vivid Storm do sell a set of wall mounts where you can mount it to your studs in your wall. That way you can have it a little bit higher. So a lot of different options for mounting this projector screen. So the projector itself does have manual controls. So it has a main on and off switch. It also has a manual controls where you can put it up, put it down, or you can stop it in the middle. Uh, next to that, you do have your IR receivers. So definitely want to place it somewhere you can easily point the projector remote to. So once you get out of the box, all you need to do is just plug in the power, and then you can start using this projector screen. 